Hi, I'm Judy Fitzgerald, Commissioner for the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities. I'm so pleased to have the opportunity to share my interest and my passion about the importance of mental health. More than ever, people are coming to appreciate that our mental wellness is vital to our overall health. Certainly, the COVID-19 pandemic has illuminated this reality. Regardless of your age, your race, your gender, your economic status, your ability to manage stress, anxiety, fear, and concerns, and to stay engaged and connected with others is so central to who we are as humans. So on the positive side, this really challenging situation, I believe, has brought this issue of mental health home, literally, for so many people. And it's opened up a dialogue about the importance of understanding first and foremost your own mental health, and then being able to reach out to others as well. I think people are having a better ability to recognize that it's not a weakness to say, I'm struggling, or maybe I need help. They're also not afraid to ask others how they're doing, and to really be listening in a different way, and understanding that these mental health questions are so important. And in fact, that it's not talking about mental health, that really is when the problem worsens. So historically, there's been a stigma associated with talking about mental illness or mental health. And particularly, people who have mental illness have suffered because of the shame and fear that's been associated with it. And it's kept a lot of people in hiding, even though we know that one in five people will experience some form of mental illness in their lifetime. So I think all of us are having a growing appreciation for the ways in which our own mental health can be impacted. And so we imagine for those with mental illness, serious mental illness, the stigma can be painful and can lead to further shame and isolation. We've got a great opportunity to raise awareness. At DBHDD, we know that treatment works and we know that recovery is real and we know that spreading the word about people's mental health needs really is part of the solution and part of the message that your mental health is critical to your overall health. And that, most importantly, conversations about mental health and mental illness make for healthier individuals and families and communities. And that's true not just during Mental Health Awareness Month, but every day of the year. So I hope you'll join us in raising your voice and talking about the importance of mental health. In Georgia, we're in this together. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Monica Johnson. I am the Division Director for Behavioral Health here at the Department for Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities. Um, it is Mental Health Awareness Month, and there are two really important things that I wanted to take the time to share with you from my perspective as the division director for behavioral health. Um, I think that in a time like now, when we are in the middle of a worldwide pandemic such as COVID-19, it becomes even more sort of in your face, the importance of mental health wellness as a whole. Um, people are starting to have uh, obviously, the concerns around what happens if I get the virus, what happens if um, I am physically impacted, but the more and more time passes, the more and more it becomes obvious that individuals' mental health wellness is obviously going to be important, not just for the month of May, but as we continue to move throughout this pandemic, and any other year. Right now, people are experiencing anxiety, they're scared, they're fearful, um, they're uncertain about the future. If you turn on the TV at any point in time, you're gonna hear a lot of statistics and a lot of information being thrown at you. Sometimes people don't even know where to go to get the best information. And all of those things can lead to a, a clear impact to anyone's mental health wellness. One of the things that is of high value to me as an individual, not even just as you know, being in this particular position, 
is that we work every day to reduce stigma associated with mental health. People for so long have often equated mental health with, oh, those are those people over there, or that's someone else's problem. And not really thinking about it on a continuum of care in the way we think about physical health. And so your brain matters, taking care of what happens there is just as important as managing diabetes, as managing a heart condition, as managing blood pressure issues, whatever it may be, mental health is equally as important. So one of the things that I find useful about the, the space that we're in now, if there is a silver lining to be found, is that people are recognizing more the value and the importance of mental health. And people are not, or people are, aren't as afraid, it seems, to start to talk about the impact because the impact is becoming so much more universal than what it was before. It's not secretive. It's not something that has to be hidden and it's not something that has to be, come with shame. Now, people want to talk about um, mental health issues. They want to talk about their own mental health wellness. People um, may talk about it using different words like self-care, um, mindfulness, they may use different words, but all of those things equate to the value of recognizing that your social, your social um, emotional status is equally as important as everything else. Um, as the world starts to get used to whatever will be the new norm post this pandemic, um, I think that the way we support, the way that we treat, the way that we talk about mental health um, and the importance of maintaining mental health wellness, um, I think the better we'll be served as a society as a whole. So if there's a silver lining to be found here, I find that as a silver lining. People want to talk about this um, because they now can see how easily um, one's mental health wellness can change along a continuum given the right set of circumstances. Um, so that's what it means to me. Um, that's why it's so important. And that's why I'm happy that we have an opportunity to pause and to do everything we can to communicate our intentions and our values around reducing the stigma related to mental health so that people like me, like others can start to use the words and start to take the action and start to support their friends, their families, their neighbors, because we've taken those steps to really reduce the stigma. So that's what it means to me and that's why it's really important. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to Mental Health Awareness Month. My name is Adrian Johnson, Deputy Division Director for Behavioral Health with the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Development Disabilities. Thank you for joining me today. Since 1949, the month of May has been observed as No Health Month in the United States. And many national organizations such as NAMI, Mental Health America, and other affiliates spotlight Mental Health Month to raise awareness about the importance of mental health and to stop stigma associated with mental health disorders. As human beings, our lives are comprised of a combination of happiness and sorrow. It is impossible to know when and where we might face difficulties and emotional troubles in life. We all go through difficult phases in our lives and some in turn lead to insurmountable amounts of stress. Often when we use the term health, we're referencing the main overarching aspects of it, like how often we exercise, our allergies, how long our last cold lasted, and for some people like me, how my knees begin to feel right before a storm. Way too infrequently does the topic of health include mental health. Luckily today, with the support of our change agents across the system, we are louder and quicker to shine a light on the importance of mental health. Mental health is a huge factor in all of our overall well-being. So we all need to be aware of how to recognize the symptoms, seek assistance for ourselves, and for those who are suffering. The reason I'm here today is to inspire each of you tuning in to join my office to become a change agent champion for mental health awareness. As we all know, 
The only constant thing in life is change and change can be difficult for most of us humans and organizations alike. Please remember, we can stop and we can break the stigma together. Join me in paving a new road, one of courage and resilience. Thank you for your time. Be well.